According to the National Gardening Association, 35% of U.S. households, that's more than 40 million households, grow produce in their home gardens, and many of them also grow fruit on backyard fruit trees. So in today's You Can Grow It, Garden Master Jim Duthie visits another local nursery as part of Idaho Horticultural Month to learn more about fruit trees and some great options for getting the most fruit out of a small backyard. At Adams Gardens and Nurseries in Nampa, they sell a lot of fruit trees. And owner Neil Adams says one of the first things to keep in mind about growing fruit at home is to control the size of the trees by pruning or by planting dwarf varieties. Yeah, keeping them small is key. Uh, pruning, uh, don't let your tree get too big. So uh, trees like these are all semi-dwarf, but if you don't do any pruning, they'll get to 15 to 18 feet and just unmanageable. So we recommend keeping them pruned down. Well, you can reach to the top of the tree and get the fruit for one thing. Yep. With smaller backyards, dwarf sized trees are a good option. And some trees are grafted to produce multiple varieties of fruit on the same tree, saving planting space. So Neil, here is an example of a cherry tree, but this isn't just your run of the mill cherry tree. This one's a little different. It is. This is a multi-graft cherry. So you have a Bing cherry branch, a Rainier cherry branch and a Van cherry branch. So you have all your pollinators on the same tree and you can have three trees in the space of one. So you don't need another tree to pollinate. This is going to self pollinate itself. Yes, yep, yeah, it's all taken care of. Another space saving option for growing fruit is the espalier method, where branches are trained to grow laterally. Yep, yeah, so we train it vertically at first and then top it out and grow our side branches and, and grow it out horizontally. And nice thing is, it doesn't take up a lot of space. And on this particular tree, we actually have two varieties again, Bartlett pear and Anjou pear. So again, good pollination and some variety. And so one of the advantages to Espalier is the amount of room, but it also put them up against a wall or a fence where maybe it keeps them a little bit warmer with the reflection of the sun. Yes, extend your season a little bit, maybe for a late ripening pear or apple, you can ripen up and get that fruit before the frost comes. This is a Macintosh apple, and this is kind of an example of, if you didn't want to pay the extra money to have an Espalier done ahead of time, you could pick a tree out of the stock here and actually take something like this, train two branches, take the branch you're holding in this branch, and then have a second layer, and we could even get a third layer up here. So you keep the leader as tall as you want it to be and just train off to the sides. Yep, just train out horizontally. Espalier is becoming more popular among both home fruit growers and commercial orchards, since it takes less room and makes harvesting easier. The espalier method can even be used on non-fruit trees and shrubs in the landscape, like this beech tree, which provides a nice privacy screen, or this euonymus in a container or in the ground. Neil, there are a lot of tree options to plant, lots of different kinds of fruit. What about nuts? Do nuts grow well here in Idaho? Nuts grow very well. We, we can grow almonds and walnuts and hazelnuts. So if you're a homeowner and you're thinking about putting fruit trees in, just do a little bit of planting ahead of time, but it's really not that hard of a thing to do. Not very hard at all. From peaches and pears to apricots, apples and nectarines, Idaho has a diverse culture of fruit growing, and you can grow them in your own backyard as well. Where you can grow it, I'm Jim Duthie, Idaho's News Channel 7. Dwarf and semi-dwarf fruit trees are not only smaller in size, but often bear fruit sooner than full-size fruit trees, usually in the second year after planting. And there's even a multi-graft tree called a fruit cocktail that grows several different kinds of fruit. Peaches, plums, nectarines, really? and apricots all in one tree. Very cool. Four different fruits in yeah. one tree. Jim just told me apparently I, I you can you, you I can grow you it. It's like the Franken tree, I guess. Yeah. But I don't know. Hey. <laughs> it's my kind of tree. Four in one. Why not?